Hello everybody, I'm here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to Kaiser Redux and to my French National Workers Day playthrough with the vanguard of Sorel in charge. And um, basically, that's Ball France. So today we're going to try and, well, I'll see what we get up to actually because this is going to be another montage. So let's, let's get into it. Formation of the National Popular Union. Chairman Deed has announced the formation of the National Popular Union. The Confederation General du Travail had previously comprised many autonomous labour unions represented by a diverse array of professions and ideologies. Unsurprisingly, this is what caused the CGT to be brought down by division. However, since the Sorleans took power, many unions have been cut out of the picture, leaving only those loyal to the government. The next step of this plan is to unite all loyal legion, uh, legions, unions under one state-sponsored labour organisation. The National Popular Union will include differing areas of professions in order to represent all workers of the nation, it also pledges complete devotion to the chairman. Excellent. Finally, the laborers can find themselves in the righteous protection of one big union. The workers stand with chairman deed. Here they go. Japan versus Korea. After decades of, uh, of oppression, the people of Korea have finally taken up arms against the oppressors in Tokyo. Well, believe it or not, I was actually justifying on, on the kingdom of Sicily. But it appear that the socialists have read my mind. However, they've done it a little bit preemptively, I have to say. Italy, are you going to let us join? No, no you're not, because apparently you're good. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for that to ultimately not be the case. What we'll do is we'll sit back here. Wow, they are, they are getting destroyed. Yep, there we go. The flippin' idiots. Unbelievable. It's not like it's that difficult of a job to hold this front. We do still have a slight wee shortage of equipment, but we should still be fine. In fact, hopefully we can just knock ourselves right through here. And then get to Rome. I like how I am now carrying you. Was there ever going to be in doubt? With all Mussolini's competency... Togliatti's. Togliatti's just not cut out for this. This is just not his jam. This is this is why we need Mussolini. Mussolini actually showed us how competent he really was as a general last playthrough. We were even proud of him. Oh well, we managed to cut off Rome, which is grand. Just keep pushing forward, men. Italy, see if I've got to help you defend the peninsula once we are at war with the Reichsbacks. I'm not going to be very happy. Norway petitions the Philanthropy. What the hell is this? Recently received a delegation from Norway. They seek aid for the, from the Philanthropy to help industrialize their country. What shall be the response? Yeah, you can have the provide industrial aid. Yeah, aid to Norway. Factory output done by two for, for 30 days. I think we can live without it for 30 days. No, the encirclement might be possible. In fact, it is going to be possible. Yep, there we go. We've we've achieved it. Yep, there we go. Four divisions encircled. Kill them. Well, it's 22,000. Well, could be worse, I guess. When the tanks just pop in there. Here, get back on this front. Keep them moving forward. Yep, you push in there, you push in there, you in there, you guys in there. Then we'll just get these guys to push the Palermo. That should pretty much be them dead. The hunt for the anarchist. The old commune is dead, destroyed by anarcho syndicalism, and so shall be her children, which spread across our beloved France like a cancer, which is to be cut off at all costs and the national status to thrive. Paul Marion was anxious, looking through papers, contacting spies via telegram, encrypted telephone signals, wanting blood to feed his beloved state, which demanded at all costs total loyalty and militant socialist belief. 
It is then that when a medium level anarchist, a bastard son of Macno, began organizing a protracted people's war against the state, it became clear that it was necessary to wipe it up like a bug which sat on a window. Tamarion fiercely kept attacking, going to every corner of the street he could find, which had even the tra the, the tracent amount of anarchist activity. The rest the rest those there without trial, silently removing them from the public eye. He also put curfews up and increased level of harshness against all enemies of state. Eventually, after two weeks of looking for the nameless, meaningless, medium-level anarchist which kept attacking our good orderly policemen and ruining our infrastructure, we found him, hiding in the home of the family in Bordeaux. Of course, we arrested all of them and did away with their records, ensuring they were never found again. Even if we all lose and fall through reactionary forces, at least the vile enemies of our people will never have existed. No tears, no pain. Get some of them out, see if we can, can aid ourselves. Oh! It would appear that Messina is actually going to crumble. Okay, so much for wanting to do a naval invasion. Ah, the Iberian Federation has joined me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Third International is very happy to have you on our side. Much appreciated. Ah, yes, we are across, and we are going to finish off you. So that means Italy is almost unified. We just... Oh, goodbye, Korea. We just need to take out the Italian Republic, but that's going to be easier said than done. Albania has joined the Austrian faction. Yep, the last of their divisions are definitely being overrun. Oh, yeah. Yep, there we, there we go. Come on. Come on, Palermo. Just fall. Thank you, Spain. How much is it? 50,000. You only lost 23,000 of them from 184. Wow, talk about carrying. I was going to invade Deutschland, but I have a funny feeling they may end up joining the Germans if I was to invade them. Feels like a thing they would end up doing or have the possibility to do it. And I don't want to risk it right now because I'm not actually ready for war. Don't have enough divisions yet. 112 is good, but it's not quite German good. Plus, if we've got to deal with the Austrians as well, I kind of want to be prepared. I wonder, I'm just setting up a naval invasion just in case the the Socialist Republic of Italy decide to invade the Italian Republic it is something they could do. I guess I could always justify them myself. And then call in Italy. Hopefully they'll start pushing there and then I can just take them out and then we'll have Italy unified before going into the second Velcro again, which... Oh, they've, they've done it themselves. Look at that. Speak of the devil. We just need to wait until they start to lose now. I don't think they'll let me in. No, they'll need to be losing. There we go. There's confirmation. Thank you very much. Yep. And away we go. The only issue being is that Venice doesn't isn't actually the capital because we're not invading Venice. But it has allowed us to get right behind the river, which is glorious. We should hopefully be able to maybe make a push down. Yes, would some of you like to go ahead and secure that area? Yes, let's get across the river even more, please. We don't want to be messing around. Look at this, when you have competent allies, you can achieve anything. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow, we've absolutely butchered them. What a glorious day for Italy. Garibaldi's nightmare has finally come to an end. It's glorious. Long live the chairman. The French national worker state stands triumphant. Chairman Dietz has constructed a regime impenetrable. The French military and the field marshal Jacques Donet has the might to repel any German attack, while the CPAI works hard to prevent another anarchist insurgency. While France's allies slowly crumble under domestic pressure, the chairman is beloved by his people. He has brought peace and prosperity to the French workers. Allons the France de la patrie. If I've, I've probably butchered that. Oh no. Armed incidents in Danzig. In spite of ruthless policy of Germanization and repression of syndicalist activity, our fellow comrades from Lorraine have revolted again. 
against the rule uh, Kaiser rule during the provocative uh, prog uh, celebration of the twentieth anniversary of German occupation. Thousands of French-speaking Lorraines have taken control of Nancy and their areas in Lorraine, raising the red flag upon their town halls and closing down every mine and factory. However, brute force is now suppressing Lorraine's struggle for freedom, social injustice, social justice rather. Um, and despite undercover help from our intelligence services, the German police employed by army detachments have put hundreds under arrest while extrajudicial executions have reported in long way, long way, and mine cities are under martial law. Put under pressure by the outraged French people, the Committee des Salut Public is discussing the general staff's proposal to perform a show of force at the German border in an attempt to come to the French speaking militants' rescue. Publicly denounced German actions. Oh, would you look, would you look who's coming for me? It's, it's the French and the Entente. Well, 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 if that's what you're up to, I guess it's time to get ready to slaughter Portugal. And I guess we'll move our Swiss boys into action down on our south coast, into the ports. What we'll do is we'll get you. Which will run you all the way along this. Great, so everything's coming together. The Germans are possibly coming for us very soon. The French are coming for us literally now. I want to go to war with the Austrians. Oh, I'm going to war with the Austrians. There was there was no doubt about that. I'd just like to point that out. There was no hesitation on this. We were just Wow, and there we go. The King of France is like, yep, let's declare war on them. Why are you guys in the way? Oh, because Albania's not in the war yet. Have they, who have they called in? Who are we at war with? Just ill... <laughs> Regents Berlin and Strasbourg have informed us that the unprecedented concentration of German troops is planned in Alsace and Lorraine under the guise of military exercise. Such an aggressive move from German autocracy. It's a time when Lorraine's are desperately fighting for their freedom. It's nothing more than desperate attempt to test our resolution. However, such a plan is bold to backfire. To prevent further German provocations, force mobilization of the communal arm. The divisions in the eastern regions has been ordered and a show of force may be formed in Crash Compt, near the Alsatian border, uh, where newly created armoured regiments are to exercise and combine operations with infantry divisions and air support. I think they need... They can declare... Right, we, are, we do not want to provoke Germany. Fall of Lisbon. And there goes the Portuguese. Iberia is secured. Collapse of Portuguese Empire. Because they were so strong to begin with, like. What we'll do is we shall garrison the entire coastline of Spain because I, I don't trust them. I don't trust them yet. They're still they're still a little baby. They've still not got their, their themselves together, really. 170 days. I'm invading your ally. Do you have something against... Co oh. That would explain it. Ah. Oh. That's lovely. That's absolutely fantastic. Oh, my days. My greatest ally has joined us. The Union of Iceland. Because why not? Bjorn Jolfer Bjarnson is here. Excellent pronunciation. Well, it's time for me to gobble up Hungary. Yes, we're across. We're across. Now, the reason I'm going for Hungary before Austria is the fact that by taking out Hungary, I will literally be on the border with Vienna. So even if Austria does call in all the little allies, there aren't really going to be... Yes, Poland. Welcome, my brothers in arms. Yes. After the recent syndicalist revolution, which happened about four years ago, the small nation of Poland is seeking to join the ranks of syndicalism worldwide, the international. Should we allow them into our ranks? <laughs> Their belief in our cause is flimsy. No, our brothers. Welcome. One and all. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, by taking out Hungary, we will literally be on the border with Austria and their capital. So really, even if they do call in the remainder of their faction, we shouldn't struggle too badly with them. 
Yep, this is good. We're at Budapest. Pex is cut off. Lost 63,000. Nice. Just do that. Yep. <laughs> Germany, I'll just be sitting there going, what on earth is happening? Oh, they've got a currency. I th no, that's not their currency. The, the, who accepted the currency? Who knows? Who knows? Ah, yes. Glorious. Oh, Venezuela died. Well, we're not getting any oil from them now. Ever again. On the plus side, though, that doesn't mean when we beat the Entente, we can go ahead and take Venezuela, and then we will have the oil from there. Ah, there goes Hungary. I'll happily take 30,000 guns from them. Cheers. Let's go ahead and take all of that. Nom. <laughs> I just love looking at this. It's like, the Austrian faction was actually covering the majority of the Balkans apart from Serbia and Romania. And now we've just managed to insert ourselves right in firmly. Right into the Central Balkans. Without anybody going, do you know what? That's wrong. I'm not sure the Japanese are really capable of aiding. Oh my god, what a mess. It's been a while since I looked over here. Oh, The Beijing government is, is probing its way into the central and also northern China now. Yes, that's why Japan's like, oh no, we better get in. So we're probably going to see the defeat of Japan, which means Russia will finally have peace and they can divert their attention to elsewhere. So a good thing we have our boys just chilling in Madrid for this exact moment. Look at that. Boom. Strategically into action. Eastern Iberia is getting it now. Bloody. Wow. That worked so well for you. The fall of Chicago. Oh no. The United States is going to win. Oh dear. Wow. Well, well, the Beijing government won. Uh, <laughs> oh, Japan is about to get it. They are about to get smacked. It's time to say goodbye to Carl. Bye now. And let's just call in Hungary, because that's that's who that's just the only nation we need. Oh, oh, and what we also need is Just move and into Austria, please. Thank you. Wait, what? That I'm I'm not sure that's correct. Austria and Germany are on the same side again. That's that is not what's happening here. Wow, Vienna's gone already. See, this this is the master plan. Let's test the Swiss out. <laughs> How good are the Swiss divisions? Let's find out in this episode of How Good Is Your AI's Troops? In fact, it would actually be a fantastic idea just to get them in now because uh, there's a massive hole. There, there is a massive hole. Beautiful. And we even get Bulgaria. Mwah. Bon appetit. We're not Italian. Ah, get annexed. Get annexed. Get annexed. Get annexed. And get annexed. Boom, boomity boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the finest French troops in the land. Mine. Oh god, we've killed supply. That that's fine. That is fine. We can hopefully help. <laughs> We're bringing in too many guys. <laughs> we don't need this many. That moment when the Austrians are a major, but the Italians aren't. Oh dear. If it was Mussolini, you could just see him crying in the corner. Ah, there goes Greece. Algiers is fallen. All right, we need to watch out for Iran because that is got a decent batch of guys. And there we go, Algiers is ours. Who would have seen that coming? Not us. Okay, with everybody here, we might as well just all get on one plan. Yeah, let's go aggressive. Italy. Oh no. Not Sicily. My Swiss boys. Off you go, lads. Look at that. The Swiss are on their way to deal with us. What good men we have here. Oh, sweet heavens of Jesus. 
Japan. You've turned up. You've only got 83 divisions max, though. It's not exactly amazeballs. Hirohito had just went Super Saiyan. Look at that. The Kingdom of France has died. Right, time to mop up. Mop up these Canadians. Oh, well. Oops, a daisy. I hope you're sick of Bill Creek time. You are going to get it, boy. Airplanes are in the air. Airplanes of air superiority. Unpause. Oh, yep. The world is at war. Once again. Oh, oh gearing up to wage your own wars. Well, you know, in Germany, everything's bypassing. That's fantastic. Second Valkyrie, a couple of years late, but we are fully underway. Come on, we're, we're doing this again. We're going through the Ardennes. Actually, it's not quite the Ardennes, but it's 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 still it's still pushing out in that direction. So you know what? Stuff them to hell. Now we just need to try and secure Dunkirk from these pesky fools, and we shall be fine to slaughter them all. Good, good, good job, Germany. Yep, there we go. We've we've done it again. They are still getting supply, however, but on the plus side, all those who are actually on this can now start doing a maneuver of just pushing in on them. <laughs> International unite, let's go! It's like basically we've we've formed the Power Rangers. You know how like the Power Rangers all have their little thing. We we've just all joined together. It's not going exactly in our fa Actually, this is going to be a f This is going to be annihilation. And having to not worry about the Ukraine... Go, man. Use this as an advantage to do stuff and kill them and... Wow, they're actually holding in Belgium now. Don't like that. This was not how it was supposed to go. Yes. 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 Munich is completely cut off. So every division in there... Is now screwed. Germans dying in here, Germans dying in here, Germans dying everywhere. Oh, why did the Ottomans join in? Are they classed a major? Ha! <laughs> no. Oh, that's funny. Stupid Ottomans. Who do they think they are? Oh no, Bulgaria! No! No! My southern boys! How dare you do this, you dicks! Still, you're not going to be able to save Germany. Germany's, Germany's going to be tapping out. What on earth is all the divisions over here? Holy balls of fire! Argentina, Chile, Cuba. What the? Oh, piss! Oh, Wait, what? What's happening? Oh, are we still at war with those people? Oh no, we're at peace with you. Yeah, that's right. Get the get the hell out of my territory now. Ah, Malta. Don't know why you're in a peace deal, but uh, Italy. You may have Malta. This is a core for you. You're very welcome. Wait, where did we get? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, the land we took from the Germans. The end of an era. The German forces finding Europe have finally collapsed on the weight of the invading armies. We've done it. Oh, little old Wilhelm, look at him. Old enemy's new allies. Oh, you suck it, because I hope they say no to you. Return socialist Polish lands. By all means, have your lands. Oh, wait, is Rokozowski anywhere in the battlefield? We should have looked earlier. There he is! He's here. Rokozowski is still, still alive. He's, he's doing his thing for the Poles. Shame it's not for me.
Ah, there we go. Split the country? No. Occupy the Rhineland, break up the rest? No. No. Move the border to the Rhine, create the German Union? Yes. That's exactly what we want. The Red Army has risen in the German Union. Right, I'm hoping you guys can deal with that yourselves, because I'm, I'm busy showing them who's boss down here in Triple Latini. And also, I'm, I'm dealing with Sweden. Well, the Entente told them to bugger off, which I find is great. I, I love that. Um, why do you want round two already, Wilhelm? It just it just seems counterproductive for us all. Um, you know, I have bigger fish to fry than a little exile government. Oh shit, they did join the Entente. <laughs> oh boy, I, I don't have many divisions in the area. Gosh sake, man. Okay, right, good. Europe Europe is near enough under our control. We just have Sweden to deal with and Ireland. Um, rest is simply the Ottomans and Sweden and Ireland. Wait, Ruthina. Boom. 